Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Nick. Let's go to you our journeys. Episode 2 Country Air. Is it fresh? I sanded down the walls in that corner, covered it a few holes in the roof. I already feel like an expert carpenter. The most beautiful carpenter. You've got dust on the tip of your nose. I'll have to get used to the dust and hard work. It will take us a long time to get the house in livable condition. Well, considering it's so empty too. However long it takes, we're not in a rush. I totally agree. What are you thinking about? The mystery of your next book. Are you gonna tell me what it's about? Oh yeah, yeah. Now that I spoke with the publisher, I can tell you. It's about my dad. I'm going to write his biography. That's great, isn't it too soon? Actually, yeah. It's great though. That's a beautiful idea. Do you like it? I love it. You can tell his story, capture his emotions. It'll not only be a good book, it'll also be good for you. Closure? Yeah, my emotions have been running high. And returning to this house, rebuilding it with you makes sense, right? Yeah, babe. And what did Meryl think? Meryl liked it. She wants to publish it. But we're waiting for the publishing house to officially approve it. They're going to. You're so talented, babe. If they approve it, we'll celebrate. But I'd rather work on the house right now. So no celebration if they're not approving it. I'd better keep my mind occupied. I'm so happy that it'll end up just like you. Yeah, and it's true that we're not in a rush, but it's a lot of work. Maybe we could hire people from town, don't you think? Are you afraid that I'll want to do everything myself again? I must confess that's what I was thinking. But you didn't actually work alone. Rudy, of course. Rudy saved me, but don't worry. I've learned my lesson. So let's just call Rudy. We could hire him. We're gonna need more people. I don't think he can handle it on his own. Yeah, plus the locals will be closer to the project. That's one advantage. Do you know anyone trustworthy? Various people, but I'm not sure if they're still living here. Which people? Let's think about it a little. Of course, there's no need to decide right now. Now I need to get back to Mary's. Macy took care of the lunch crowd, but I'm left in charge of the night shift. I'm going to ride around town, then I'll head back to the city. Are you coming? No, I have the day off. I'm going to stay and see if I can get some work done. Okay, I'll see you later. What kind of work, Adam? Hi there! Ah, you scared me! Sorry, I didn't mean to. I'm Omar. I live around here. The movement at the abandoned house caught my attention, you know. So I came by to see what was happening. Be friendly. I'm in a rush, but yeah, I can be friendly. It's normal for our neighbor to come by. I would have done the same way. Are you? Well, we inherited the house. It's ours now. We're fixing it up. You inherited it? My husband and I, yes. It was his father's and... Omar! Adam? I'm so happy to see you. Are you? It's been so many years. Too many, man. I see you've met Katie. She's my wife. Omar is a good friend of mine from childhood. It's a pleasure to meet you, Omar. The pleasure is all mine. Your wife is so warm. I'd expect nothing less from you. I don't know if you knew this, but Adam was the hunk of Greenport. 
I think I can picture it. I thought it was Tom. It's so nice to see you again. I'm happy. Me too, man. It's been a lifetime. And just to think we used to see each other every day as kids. Do you remember when we freed the birds from the Howard Scoop? We watched a video of a dove release and we wanted to do it ourselves. You really haven't been back to town in a long time. I think the last time I was here, I was a teenager. Yeah, I remember you'd come to get something of your father's. A painting of the bay that was a long time ago, but we're back. And we want to restore the house to its former glory. We inherited the property after my dad's death. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm so sorry. Thanks, man. So then, you're moving to Greenport? No, no. We want it to be our weekend home. Great. It's an excellent property. How do you know that? If you need me, just ask for anything, okay? I promise I'll call you, but I don't have your number. Hand me your phone. Done. Now you've got it. Send me a message later so we're in contact. I'll see you later. Bye, Katie. See you later, Omar. Or not. Your friends is so nice. Yes, so nice. Yeah, at least we know someone in Greenport. I'm leaving, babe. If I don't go, I won't have time to drive around town. Good luck with the house. You'll need it, Adam. I like this place. It's so calm, so different from the city. The people smile. What's that smell? It smells delicious. Restaurant? It's coming from that stand. Bean bread. That bread was incredible. I need to buy those beans like now. What kind could they be? What a find! This place, those aromatic herbs, and the spices. This is exactly what I need to spruce up the dishes at Mary's. Yes, I'm gonna buy everything, even the market and surprise Macy. So what's everything? Good, you're here! Get to work, Katie. Sorry I'm late. I just found an incredible market in Greenport. I brought a bunch of herbs and spices that we calling my name. Close from Madagascar, Ras El Anud. What is that? An incredible variety of saffron. I love it. I'm going to be addicted to that market. The bean bread is sublime. It's great to get out of New York a little. That's the way to innovate. It's exactly what we did now that we're in jury season. Here are the orders. This is a strange one. What this did they order? Off the menu, whatever the chef suggests. Okay, could it be one of the judges from the chef magazine? It could be. How nerve-wracking. It's our chance to shine. Off the menu? Alright then, I'll make something new. Or Macy. Yes, this is the perfect time to try it. If the mystery customer really is a chef magazine judge, we're going to surprise them. So what if it's not? Where do we start? With the new things we have, the aromatic herbs, the beans. We could make a pasta. A special pasta smells this. Wow, what is it? Majoram, but from another dimension? Which dimension? It's incredible. 
We have the tubers, the wheat flour, the fresh herbs. We could make a marjoram reduction and serve it separately. The guests will decide to include it in the dish or not. And we'll pair it with some chips and beans like at the market. Let's get to work. Yeah, get to work. We make a great team. Actually, thanks to Macy. That's Harold Moon, the chef that's in first place. Harold, what a surprise. Hi, Katie. If I had known you were here, I would have come earlier to say hi. It's that I asked a collaborator to make the order for me. I didn't want you to feel pressured by my presence. I wanted you to create a dish with complete liberty. Well, here you have it. Off the menu. This is delicious. Delicious and surprising. The pasta has... What is it? I can't seem to distinguish the flavors, but it's sublime. Okay, I suppose you're not going to tell me your secret. Of course not. I'm experimenting with new flavors. Well, congratulations. That's how it's done. Thanks. I'm glad you liked it. Now tell me, did you come as a peer or as a judge for the competition? That's confidential. Say no more, enjoy! That would be unprofessional if he's the judge and the members too, right? I just impressed Harold Moon. We're only spending one day there. Why are you bringing so much? So I don't get bored, plus I want my room to look like my room. You can't copy your room. As long as you keep things neat and tidy. Oops, Patekyu should have come too then. He always helps me. Where shall we begin? We have a long list of things to do. We have to continue with the walls in the living room. Clean the rooms. The bathroom. Check the plumbing. Okay, should we divide the task? Repair walls. Which task would you rather do? Check the plumbing? I think it's for Adam. I'll take care of the walls. I don't know anything about plumbing. There could be raccoons in the drain pipe and I wouldn't even notice. Okay, I'll check it out and see what I find. This is serious! Without Wi-Fi, there is no world! Seriously? There has to be some way to get Celestine to put down that phone. Even just for a bit, I have to come up with something. No, she can be bored. She already is bored. We'll have a picnic then. Without internet! I know, what if we had a picnic in the yard? A picnic here without leaving? Well, the yard is still pretty rough. We haven't worked on it yet. Yeah, more than rough. Wild. It'll be like a real day in the countryside. Yes, I love it. A picnic at home. I'll help you, mommy. Because the house is still unlivable. It's a day in the country at home. How great. What if we dance? I want to run! Good! A race! Whoever gets to the edge of the property first gets two slices of chocolate cake? Hey, wait! That's cheating! Yes, that doesn't count. You did it! Celestine is happy and far from the food. Let's go! It's a race, Adam. Did you close all of the windows, babe? Everything is in order. Let's pack the car and go. 
can't we stay a little longer? We'll come back soon, I promise. And when exactly is soon? It's a weekend home. I think someone had fun today. We had a beautiful afternoon. We even got some work done and everything. I finished one of the walls and it turned out perfect. How about the plumbing, Adam? The house is going to be beautiful. Yeah, mom is genius. Let's go home. It's about time. What was that? What was what? The house? What is this sound? Like avalanche something. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And see you guys on our next journeys.